Libra, 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 Libra. Hello, my loves. I hope y'all are doing well. So, Libras, here is your July reading. Let me get all these in. Let's see. I put these nails on and I can't pick anything up. But we definitely, we're going to make it work, Libra. We are going to make it work. Now, you know how we do this. We start with the bones and the curios first. Then we move into the tarot for further confirmation. And then we follow up with this time. We're going to use the um, Life Coach Oracle to give us some guidance to help us navigate the message. All right, Libra? All right. Uh, first thing that falls out in your money is the catcher's myth, which is opportunities coming in. Libra, Libra, Libra. So some of you keep your eyes open because it looks like you have some opportunities that are definitely going to be coming your way. Let's see what we have. All righty. Good spell work. We have money coming in, but we definitely got some jealousy. Evil eye energy on top of it. Somebody's wearing a mask. Somebody's being fake. Um, and spirit is saying it. you might need to keep an eye on this person. Um, there's some communication that's coming in. It could definitely be um, just to keep your eyes open for things that maybe don't look right, feel right, or whatever. Because it looks like um, it's not any other negative energy around it. But this could just be like keep your eye open. What's at the top of it? Let's see. We had the pow pow symbol, which could be something coming in fast. This also could be a switch up. You know, maybe you're dating somebody, you think in one way, and then they switch up. Or it could even be that you are looking at a situation differently. And so you have to switch up. Um, I do feel that, um, let me see. Some of you are working really hard planting seeds. Be careful of planting seeds um, with the wrong people or in the wrong environment. Or um, just maybe in places that are not fertile. Because I do feel like that there's something that is going to manifest, of course, because we're planting something. Let's see, where is the bloom at? Maybe we can see where it's blooming and it'll give us an idea of where it's being planted. Is it in the middle? It is. So some of you, you definitely, you're planning something that's it's, it's probably going to be major uh, change, major life change for you because it's showing that something is blooming in the center, the center of your energy, center of your world. And let's see, possibly from four to seven months for some of you. Um, and then we have something with a crown. Could be success, which is interesting because we have something coming out of spirit messages where a crown is upside down. Let me see. For some of you, it could be a relationship or something that's just not making you feel good. We do see also watch your money because spirit is showing you that there are some issues coming in with finances. So we probably have to watch the, the budget accordingly. I am getting um, double head in the health uh, situation. This could be headaches. This could be some type of medical thing that you have to deal with. We do have the bullet casing there. For some of you, this could be some type of chronic um, disorder. This may be something that you really have to get serious with. So if you haven't had a physical or got checked out, you might need to go do that. Some of you, I feel like this might be some joint pain, some arthritis coming in. For some, this could even be our, our mental. Like, are we okay? Do we need to go to therapy um, or do we need to um, rectify something? Devil head could be anger issues for some. And, and uh, you know, being a Libra, I could see where that comes because for some where, you know, just like anybody else, you could be very, very passive until um, you're pushed and then it becomes an anger, but it's in your health sector, which means that whatever this is, it might need, it might not be completely healthy. Could be something that causes some stress. And we don't want to get upset and be having strokes and heart attacks and things like that. But 
it is showing that something may have to be dealt with just because the bullet casing is there and also joint pain. I am getting um, ancestor and money, which means that you have, and this person is a male. So some of you may have a male that is coming in and helping you with opportunities or helping you open up opportunities. I am getting king of cups. So this could be a father or grandfather energy for some of you. Um, there is something coming in with ancestry that looks like it may be affecting your, your health. Um, cause it crosses over into your health and into your money. For some of you, this could be definitely an ancestor talking to you from the other, of course, from the other side, I was going to say from the other side, but of course, from the other side. And all of a sudden I hear Adele, hello from the other, you know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I feel like somebody's like, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. And they seem to be happy, Libra. So if this is somebody trying to communicate with you, it could be that they're trying to tell you that they're okay, that they're in a good space. Um, the energy seems positive and it definitely is. I feel like it's a parental energy with the King of Cups. All right, let's see. We do need to worry about finances when it comes to probably either managing the money we have the key there which is showing something that opens up um good financially but you may have to kind of get through a couple of obstacles before that happens and i think we saw that last month in the reading where it's like okay yeah you're going to get something that you prayed for but you may have to fight for it um so we we knew that there was some type of conflict that was going to come in before things got better. So, and some of you, you might be coming out of the conflict. Some might be in the midst of the conflict and some might be actually going into the conflict. So it's kind of like where you're at on the cycle. Okay. Let's see. Let's flip some cards over in the bad spell work. Some of you might be dealing with three people. Um, there could be some work or some type of interference with your finance especially if you're if you are um, an entrepreneur there also could be some attack or some discrimination or some work against your spiritual or religious beliefs um, that you might be dealing with could be if you're working for a job and say um, I don't know you don't want to work a particular holiday because it goes against your spiritual beliefs there may be some pushback for that or maybe you're dressing a certain way um and you're getting some type of pushback from that um also could just be that this is just hate energy on somebody who is practicing or doing something a little bit different um and that could be anything that could be christians versus versus witches witches versus you know, um, people that practice Palo, wherever it is, um, there's definitely some conflict that's coming in and to the point where it may also make you doubt the path that you're on. It's like, do I really want to walk this path? Am I going in the right path? Is this the right thing for me? Um, so I will say, and we might see more of that within the family sector, because sometimes that deals with organizations and things like that. I am seeing that you're going to find your balance. The anchor is there. This is kind of putting your energy for because putting your energy into something and, you know, praying that you get the benefit of it. So I feel like there may be something that is opening up with a path that you decided or a certain um, tradition or something that you're following. And it doesn't always have to be, even though the cross is there, this might just be a, a, a life choice. Like I want to do something different. Um could be changing your belief systems and you might get opposition. I'll say that. But I feel like with the anchor, it's almost like I'm going to be okay. Um, I do get being watched, but the crown is upside down. So it could be that I'm being watched, but I don't feel confident. So if this is at work, it could be that somebody is really trying to keep up with you. Hold up, y'all. I hear somebody out there just banging on the door and it's hot. Let me let them in. One of the cats, not just random people. <laughs> All right. I feel so bad because um, we have a feral bandit that we've been taking care of for a while. And um, 
he's watching the cats come in and out and I've been trying to get him to come in and cool off uh, and they seem you know he's been around enough where they've captured his scent he should be part of their colony but um, Millie is still kind of sometime he with him and she'll you know kind of hiss at him a little bit and so he's like I don't want them problems I don't want to come in there and have to deal with all that so he won't come in but hopefully it's you know it's about to be July here and then we got August so I'm hoping that I can get him a cooling mat that if he'll lay on it or either he'll come in and cool off when he needs to we'll see getting back to you though um like I said I feel like that you're being watched there's an energy of being watched but your crown is upside down you may not be feeling comfortable about something this could be at work where it's like okay I know that they're kind of keeping up with me might be somebody trying to micromanage and it's like I feel uncomfortable um doesn't look like it's negative to where this person is trying to cause a problem it's just showing being watched now I am seeing more money coming in. This could be from a home business. This is basically standing your ground, asserting yourself. Um, we do have demon head within the home sector. And I feel like this is, it's either this person or you that feels like the foundation is not solid because somebody is missing their legs, which makes me think that there may be somebody that you're dealing with that either you're they're they're throwing you off or are they're off if that makes sense and this could be somebody in your family in your household maybe you're having a situation where it's like okay you know they're not balanced and and this may not have anything to do with their uh mental it could just be that the stability is not there but the demon head is also showing too that somebody may not be um operating in a good energy and that may be throwing them off balance too the sword is there so there is a, a kind of cutting away something that may not work money is on the other side of this and this could be okay this person or this energy is making me lose money or it's causing a problem with my finances because we got cutting away something dividing this and the money is still there I would say be careful of somebody that maybe you're taking care of and that you keep doing for them and you're not getting any type of, you're not seeing something happen for them. Like they're not, uh, I don't want to say reciprocating because I don't think it's the energy. It may be that they're just not getting better. It's almost like, you know, you have somebody that you're like, okay, yeah, you can come live with me. And at the end of six months, you're expecting them to have a job and their money and they don't have it in a year. You're like, okay, you're still doing this. And now you're five years into it. And it's like, okay, wait a minute. You're not, something is not there because somebody is having a hard time with their stability. Now, this is a general read. Somebody could be looking at you like this too. Like, you know, I'm waiting for Libra to get their shit together so they can stand up because they're costing me money. I have to take care of them. There is this energy of cutting off are cutting the cord is what I should say and for some of you this could be a child this may be I have to cut a cord because it's, it's draining I do see not wanting to see something clearly this could be about the house so there may be some type of repair that's coming in you could be hearing a noise or, or something is going on and it's like I really don't want to look into it because I'm gonna have to deal with it and that might have been us last month we had some mold in the bathroom and I kept going that's not mold I don't think that's mold. And then it started spreading. I was like, okay, yeah, <laughs> that's mold. Let's get it done. So some of you turn your eye up and look, look around what's going with your house. There could be a problem. And for some of you, this could be with a relative or a person that you're staying with that somebody really is struggling with something and you're not seeing it. They might not be able to get their foundation underneath them. I do feel that there is, um, this energy of walking away from something but we had it with the eye turned upside down and it could be i don't want to see a problem so i'm going to walk away from it or it could be that i need to walk away from something because i don't want to see it so get in where you fit in with it will not apply to everybody but we do have somebody wearing a false mask so it may be something that needs to be seen and that you can't unsee it i do feel like whatever the energy is you're protective you're protective of your energy. 
Now, purse upside down, spirit messages, watch your money. Some of you, there may be a slowdown with business or a slowdown with things that are coming in because busy bee is upside down, which means that maybe you were busy, but things are starting to lighten up. And I don't know about y'all, but I kind of welcome the slowness a little bit so I can catch my breath. There is um, a relocation in love. Some of you might be dating somebody long distance and it's like you're trying to prepare to move. It could also be that this person is preparing to move to come be by you. If this is not a love relationship, this could possibly be, I want to move and put myself in a position where I'm doing something that I'm passionate about or I love. Now, I am getting a lot of emotions that come in within this love sector. Some of you, there may be dating somebody and you thought y'all were just friends or this is just a hookup. Kind of reminds me of the stories on, what is it, Tinder or Bundle, where these people are like, is it Bundle? I said Bumble. I think it's a Bundle. Y'all, please forgive me because y'all know I don't know no better. Um, where these people, like I went on two dates thinking this was just going to be a hookup. Then I went back for the next hookup and the next thing you know, we're living together or we're getting married or we're having kids. Something could be happening where emotions are changing. I don't think it's negative for um, for the majority of people. I feel like that there may be something where my emotions are getting more involved in something. And because of that, I may be moving to be closer to whatever this is that makes me happy or makes me feel good. We do have money coming in. Lots of jealousy around that though. So if you are doing better financially or you're getting a better position or something is coming in, don't tell people. Because a lot of them are not going to be happy for you. Um, I do feel that there is some type of transformation. If you've been having any type of issues with your health or especially lower body, butterfly is there. So I feel like there's some transformation that's coming in. Sun is close to the middle, which is something that flips and gets brighter. There definitely is going to be um, an issue with possibly somebody that you love. And this could be platonic. This also could be romantic. Let me see. We have Jack of Cups. Oh, what is this? Is this Eight of Hearts? Education coming in, connecting with friends, finding your tribe. Um, let's see. Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I'm trying to make sure I turn all these over. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, there seems to be some positive energy that's coming in, but we the only thing that I see that may be causing some problem is Nine of Wands, and this could be defending yourself. So we got a lot of people around that maybe you are connected to, but it's like I feel like I need to defend myself. So there may be something that's coming in with a job. This could be family. Um, the issue, and it's not a bad issue because best friends are on these people, which means that some of you may not be in a bad situation if this is a group. Um, but it could be that maybe you're walking into a group where you have to prove yourself or you have to um, defend why you're there. Um I don't know. I, I, you know, the best way I could think of it is maybe you get a new job and there's a click already there or there's good friends or there's people, maybe you know some of them and you go in and it's like, okay, I feel like that I need to defend myself. There could be some issue with communication. Clouds are there. Let's see. Butterfly is there. Something could be transform transformation. If there's an issue where maybe the group or your the the organization or the job or something that you're you're not clicking with, it looks like that it one could either get better or if it's good it could get worse, because there's clouds there. So either we're coming out the clouds or something is happening where there are clouds. I don't feel like it's really affecting you in a bad way. I mean, out of everything, Nine of Wands is like one of the cards that is only the only thing showing is negative. And this could be a disagreement. I don't agree with you. So I'm going to defend myself on what I believe in or, you know, what is that agree to disagree type of energy? 
definitely see the sun on top of the coin this is money coming in some of you with the gun on top of this is i'm protecting my money there may be some legal things that are coming in if it doesn't hit you this year it looks like it may be coming in in 2025 so be really careful that if there's fees or things that you owe that you are taking care of them like you're not ignoring them because even if you don't deal with it this year and this may be any tax stuff or any type of fines or something that you need to pay it will be waiting for you in 2025 i am seeing in the good luck sector this is more about playing there's some travel that's coming in some of you might be going to visit masculine energy um what is that the candle keeps going up when i said masculine energy is it gonna happen again somebody falling in love um the clouds are where the airplane is going and the airplane is upside down Please make sure that you are checking your travel plans before you go and make sure that you have all your paperwork, that your passport and everything is up to date. Um, I am getting some delays, but it, I, I don't think it's anything that's going to cancel your trip. Let's see. Travel. Some of you are making a commitment to something. We have the ring here. This is getting married. This is a contract. Maybe you're getting a new job or you're signing a contract. Some of you could be relocating and traveling to a different country because you're getting married. Um, there's a commitment. Ten of diamonds is on top of it. Typically, we look at it with the playing cards. This is about success. Um, but I am getting, for some... Make sure that you have some type of savings if you are going to move in with somebody else because it is showing job loss or money loss, which could be that one, you could be going to a place where the job market is not really that great. You have to be concerned about being able to take care of yourself or you may be moving in with somebody that financially is not in a good place and there may be some stuff that's coming in with finances. For some of you, this could be going to a job where you're getting a contract and you're thinking the contract is going to last longer. And when you get over there, something happens and they end the contract. So I kind of feel like that, yeah, there's something there that's waiting. For some of you, it's definitely signing some type of paperwork or making a commitment to something. But there may be money loss that comes with that. Um, so research it. You know, if you, for some, we see in the family sector, there's a move, could be a move to a different state or a different country. If you are packing up and going, one, make sure that whatever kind of work you do, you can find something there. For some of you, it could be that you're going somewhere where your skill set is just not needed or there's no money there. There also is that this travel could take a lot of your money. If you're going overseas, maybe you're shipping, shipping your car, you're, you know, having to pack up everything and ship it over there. Um, if this is somebody else, it could be them losing money where it's like, I got to send all my stuff your way, or, you know, I got to get a mover's truck and drive across the country. I would just say, be smart with it. And I think for some with this ring, this could be a wedding. This could be making plans for some type of wedding. Some of you, there's definitely in the family, there's past love that's coming in. Now this could be, when we look at the family, this could be, uh, biological family spiritual family you know adopted family there may be somebody that you fell out with that you are reconciling with in the energy um i am getting conversations possibly three people there could be something that comes in in three months we have opportunity we have communication let's see we have ten of pentacles and this is money a lot of us are being asked to be flexible and compromising. We have the mockingbird, but it's upside down. So this could be communication, but is it effective communication? Moon card upside down is showing something is not being seen, which means that there may be some deception. So I will say be careful this month with conversations that you're having. Because this could be deception coming from you. This could be deception coming from somebody else. We got a female there. Female energy is there. Uh, the skull and the cross and bow could be a lack of communication or ineffective communication. So if this is a mother, a sister, a family member, a friend, there may be some ineffective communication. And then with the moon, this is either things not being seen properly or this is delusions or illusions. 
So could it be lies by omission? Like I'm not seeing everything or could it just be miscommunication? And for some of you, there's a lot of talking, but it's upside down. So it's kind of like confusing. Hmm. Manifestation is in the upright on top of opportunities, which means that you're bringing in a lot of things that will help you manifest jobs or opportunities to make money, especially with that 10 of pentacles there. Now we have the dog on the stress heart. For some of you, this could actually be an animal that is sick. Sometimes dog uh, represents friend. And this is stress. Either way it goes, some of you could be stressing about an animal or a situation with an animal that you're concerned about, or you could be stressing about a friendship. We have the handcuffs on top of the balloon, and this is like something holding you back or holding your harvest back. Um, but I see the chicken foot trying to protect. And then we saw the gun up here trying to protect money. So it could be that some of you may be having some problems financially. You got some things that are coming in and you're trying to make sure that those things are going to come through. Be careful of people that are distracting you from blossoming for you, from your harvest though, because the handcuffs are on top of it, which means that somebody's trying to lock your harvest down or lock your, your, um, uh, your bloom, your harvest, things that you're bringing in. Spirit is definitely protecting. It could be the legal thing, though, for some of you. Make sure if you're dealing with legal situations, make sure your paperwork is done right and like you're not coming back and saying you get this big Ten of Pentacles payday and then you owe Uncle Sam $60,000. It could be something like that. Evil eye energy on the chicken, that's gossip. That's just people talking. Let's see. Yep, Eight of Diamonds, message is coming in, but they're not coming in. Uh-oh, card just popping all over the place. They're not coming in in a positive way. So some of you may be hearing um, a lot of gossip that's coming your way. If it's not pertaining to you, it could be around people that are around you. Um, the clouds are there and it kind of connects with the friends group or whatever like that. If it, if you don't have to get involved with it, don't get involved with it because it looks like some, you got the sun, you got money, you got opportunities that's coming in. I think that this is a distraction. I think anything that comes in with gossip or talk, especially on the evil eye energy is a distraction, which means somebody's trying to keep you from focusing on what you need to. And, and you need to go ahead and focus on that. Because you got opportunity for money that's coming in. All right. Let's look at the cards. Let's look at the cards. Congratulations to those that are getting engaged or are engaged. That may be, you know, flying somewhere, taking a boat somewhere, driving somewhere to have a destination wedding. Or there's something that's coming in with marriage or mariage. Let's see. Libra, Libra, Libra. I ain't even got nobody on the radar for marriage, so I know it ain't me. Well, not in the physical. Spiritual, yes, but not in the physical. But I guess, you know, hey, spiritual marriage is a thing, too. Libra, Libra, Libra. What's going on with Libra spirit? Libra, Libra, Libra. What's going on? All right. First card, King of Swords. We definitely have something that's somebody that's overbearing. Now, this is in our energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Overbearing. Um, cruel. This could be you seeing somebody like this. This could be somebody seeing you like this. Let's get into it. Okay, nine of wands. And we saw that where it was kind of like defending yourself, battling of will. Um, looks like that there is some type of fight. And this could be a differences of, I don't know, opinions. Somebody could be pushing you. You could be pushing back. It's showing a power struggle. So a power play. There's victory, but it is showing... Um, 
I feel like that there may be a need and I don't know why it's always something where it seems like we have to fight for something to put our foots down but hopefully it's not that okay good death card endings whatever it is some of you are like you know what I don't want to do this I don't I really I there's an energy that it, it could be bringing out this negativity in you or general read this could be another air sign that you are battling with um and both of you may be coming to the conclusion that whoever it is that you're battling with i don't want to do it i feel like that libra is like shutting things down like i don't want to fight about nothing like this it literally is a power struggle it looks like and this could be with somebody that you work with this could be with somebody in your family the death card is literally like okay endings i'm ready for something else yeah organization this could be with a job this could be with a spiritual organization this could be with a group or something that you're supporting and it's like i am not dealing with this the full card is i'm gonna walk away new beginnings are there somebody may be feeling like i don't want to be caught in a structure of anything i want my freedom some of you could be quitting a job or an organization because you want to be free free spirit is on top of this for some of you that could be where the travel is coming in there may be i am retiring i'm letting something go i met somebody that lives in a different state city um country and i'm gonna walk away from it some of you may have outgrown something a job an organization and it's like i'm moving on with the full card nine of cups fulfillment looks like if you have to let go of something and move forward it's going to actually be good for you so it's like i don't want to fight i'm not going to go i'm not going to waste my energy with this battle of wills i'm ending something and i'm moving on with the full card and I'm ready for this new beginning. And Nine of Cups is showing you're extremely excited about something that is coming in. Now, we got the Queen of Swords. And this is bad-tempered, cold-hearted. So we are walking away from an energy, but it looks like that the energy kind of pops back in. Are you going to... Because if you walked away from it, Libra, it's almost like, why would you go back into it? But it may be that somebody won't let go. Maybe there is this power struggle where if if somebody's feeling like they, there's not a, vict, a, a, a victory with this, then we shouldn't stop. I'm not sure. Is this somebody pushing buttons? So Queen of Swords, we got the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords both in reverse. Two people or a person that is not in a good energy. And it could be one, the environment is I don't want to be here anymore battle of wills is that i'm not trying because there's an energy of somebody like i don't want to do it i'm ready for a new beginning the thing comes back over here too with ace of pentacles i don't have time for this i'm focused on my money i got to get my money ace of pentacles new source of income financial opportunity and we saw that opportunity fell out there's a lot of things that are coming in and some of you are walking away from something that may have distracted you tried to pull you in a different direction and it's like let me get this money right because i got some plans i got some things i'm trying to do then we have the knight of swords over here so headstrong somebody that is stubborn impulsive um there's this russian energy could be too that you're in such a hurry to leave that you're being you're moving in a way that's impulsive and i think that's where spirit is saying plan something out check your paperwork make sure everything is okay you also could just be dealing with an energy source energy can be combative can be full of conflict so you could be if this is not air sign people you could just be dealing with an energy of an environment that is just not conducive for you for your growth now we have seven of wands and we have battles unfair numbers Somebody might be feeling like they're, they're um, uh, being overtaken by something. This could be too that if this is a job or an organization, this could be going to HR. And it's like, I don't want to continue this because everybody is against me or I just don't feel like that I have a say in something. We got somebody though that's impulsive and it's almost like i'm moving into a, ba a battle but it's unfair so let's see where it's gonna go eight of swords this is self-imposed bondage but it's in reverse and this is like letting something go mental clarity moving forward i let it go if this is something where you have gotten obsessive with a tug of war or power struggle job wise 
where you're fighting for a position for somebody. This could even be a relationship where it's like, I want to do this, but they're like, no, I want to do this. This could be a family member. I want you to come move closer to us. And you're like, I don't want to move closer. And then this person's like, I'm going to cut you off if you don't do it. This also could be that somebody is like really trying to force you to do something that you don't want to do. It's saying at the seven of swords, um, this is like, I'm, I'm done. And we saw that up here. And typically Libras don't like to repeat themselves. It's not like, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm done. I'm done. I'm done over and over again because it ended. It ended. A new beginning came in nine of cups. I'm moving forward. I'm happy. And then we get this energy of something that comes back in. Maybe it wasn't complete. And that could be the legal thing or where spirit is like, okay, make sure you're taking care of a lot of stuff. So it doesn't come back and bite you in the ass, whatever it is. We got release. It's a big ass mosquito in here. Y'all that I'm battling. We in a power struggle. Where's my Florida water? We're in a power struggle. We have release. This could be the end of a relationship because somebody is moving towards financial stability or something that is growing and another person is losing. They're losing. There's hardship. There's spiritual poverty. Um, could be that somebody is not looking. They're looking at something and it's like, I don't feel comfortable with what the outcome is. So I think that whoever the power struggle is with you guys, it's almost like somebody may be feeling like I'm getting the raw end of the deal with this. Now we have the magician. This could be magic, but it's in reverse. Um, might not be good magic. This also could be something that is trying to be manifested, but it's not manifesting because it's being manifested from a place of desperation or a place of, um, I don't want to say depression, but could it be that maybe you're moving away from someone almost like, you know, I'm trying to figure out how to explain it. Like you've been in a relationship with somebody and then y'all break up and then the person um, goes on and life just goes amazing for them. Like you hear they get a promotion and they got a new house and they're driving a new car and you're sitting up here thinking my credit is fucking messed up. I, I got one couch that I'm sleeping on. I got all the animals and I can't afford the food. And it's almost like, did I get the raw end of the deal with something? But I get a lot of manipulation that comes in on top of this and poor planning though. So for some of you, Spirit is saying that if you're moving towards something, make sure that you have a plan so that you'll be okay. There's definitely letting go of something that just is not working. So this is either somebody that's walking away from somebody that they feel like is holding them back. This is somebody breaking up with somebody that they just feel like this is not moving in the right direction. This is somebody leaving a job that they just feel like it's not working for me. I'm not fulfilled. And they're moving in another direction with the full card, a new beginning, a new adventure. Hangman is showing that somebody got stuck on something and then they're, de they're deciding to let it go. Ten of Pentacles, we have a loss of community. There's quarrels. So it's unnecessary energy. It's something about not wanting to let go of a fight. And I think for some, we're going to be split 50-50 on it. Some Libras are like, I'm done. I am, I'm not going to argue. And some still got that sword up in the air. Page of Swords, we have communication, slander. Somebody is like, well, if I don't get what I want, I'm going to go ahead and drag your name through the mud. Um, because Page of Swords in reverse is... It's, it's immaturity. It's in, it's, uh, it's communication that is petty to me. And then we have deception on top of it. It could even be lies. So could somebody be trying to lie on you at your job? Libra's not doing what they need to do. We've gone back and forth. You know, I don't feel like that I'm being treated fairly with this. So now I'm going to make something up to make this person with the page of swords in reverse. Hmm. Let's see. Nine of Wands, reckless, bad tempered. Some of y'all, I think, are dealing with an immature energy. Page of Wands in an upright, fiery child. Some of you, this could even be in your household. You could be doing a, being in a power struggle with your kid. 
but we're getting somebody that is reckless, bad tempered. Um, and remember the devil over here, I told you, I felt like somebody had anger management problems and something needed to be healed. And that could be what's happening. King of Pentacles in reverse, possessiveness, corruption. So somebody is, I think too, somebody's getting threatened. Where it's like, if you don't do what I ask you to do, I am going to slander you. Remember over with the chickens, I told you gossip. I told you gossip. Now let's see. Discord, betrayal. Let's see, Knight of Pentacles, um, stubborn. Let's see, Seven of Cups, uh, atonement. Moving away from something, being completely like, I, I, it's, it's almost like I don't even want to do this again. I don't want to follow through. Improved situation, movement, movement forward. I'm moving, I'm leaving. I'm going to somewhere else. I don't, I, there's no longer any type of, um, any type of thing that's going to hold me back. So even if somebody threatened to, to um, do you dirty in your business, in your job, in your relationship, it's like I'm not even going to give you the power. I'm turning my back and I'm gone. Star card, moving forward. Ancestors come in. Um, guidance, relief, hope, harmony. Ancestors like enough, enough. Go to your corners. So for some of you, I don't know what's going on. But there's some conflict that may be coming in. There's some deception. Be honest. Be honest. This is general. But I think even on the end of it, be honest. Because I, I, Mambo Sierra has a card in her deck that says a lie has no legs. Which means at some point, it's only going to go as far as it can. But for some people, it's going to be a waste of energy. So if you are the, if you are the air sign that is lying or manipulating a situation to cause a problem, let it go. If this is not an air sign and it's just somewhere in their chart, some of you might be dealing with somebody that is like we're in some type of battle and I'm going to win by any means necessary. And it might not be, it's not a fair battle. It's not a fair battle. But that could be why the lies come out. All right, let's see. Life coach. Oracle, how do we deal with this energy spirit? How do we deal with this energy? Okay. Hmm. First card out. Let me get my nails out the way. Ooh, if I can. Approval. Choose uh choose to approve yourself and others will too. So this is somebody that wants to pat on the head. Is there something with a job where somebody feels like they got overlooked and that's why it brought out all this energy? Is this a relationship where somebody feels like that they didn't get the best end of the deal? Um, is this a job where somebody feels like I should have got promoted and I did not? And so th there's some anger stuff that's going on here, Libra. Trust and forgiveness. It's time for you to let down your guard and learn to trust again. So there may have been some issue that broke trust or had an uh, a, a effect on somebody and i think that somebody uh, we may have one party that's like okay i want to let this go and i'm moving on and the other party that is like no i don't want to so could it be a divorce for some could it be a breakup but it is a power struggle two people that are not seeing things the same way one wanting to walk away and one wanting to continue resolve this period of indecision and inner conflict this is a period of indecision and inner conflict and it's time to make a decision. So spirit is saying that something needs to be decided on. Um, oh, self-sabotage. Let's see. You may be creating pain for yourself by standing in your own way. Now that could go either way. General Reed, if we're the Libra that doesn't want to let this go, continuing something that may have come to an end because it came to an end at the beginning with the, with the um, Ten of Swords over, ending, we're done. But if we don't want to let it come, are we self-sabotaging? Are we causing more problems to ourselves? Oh, habits. So some of us definitely, we need to let something go. 
an old habit may keep be keeping you from moving forward we might be holding on to something that is not healthy and toxic and we might have to look at ourselves and be accountable and say what what is it that i'm holding on to if this is not you then you could be dealing with an energy that's unhealthy and toxic and this could be somebody else who's stuck in an old habit either way it goes trust and forgiveness looks like it's the 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 key to it i'm gonna just say i'm sorry i forgive you and move on and that resolves that kind of puts the energy there but if somebody doesn't want to resolve it self-sabotage is on top of it so i don't know libra you got to figure out where you fall with this you know are you holding on to something that you need to let go of a relationship a job a situation that may not be beneficial because it could be toxic is there old habits that are keeping you codependency abandonment issues things like that that you're trying to deal with some of you you're going to cut the ties get on a plane or get in your car and go somewhere else it's like i'm done the full card is a new beginning some people are going to figure it out quick i don't want to continue to do this and then some other ones are going to be like okay let's drag it out you got to figure out where you're at with it libra all right my loves take care